felt this excited in a while. You can leave it up to me to never fail or cease to switch it up. I'm still smoking. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be installing a PRL intake on Nacho's car. Or Nacho? Oh, yeah. Hence? What's up, guys? Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is actually uh, take off the stock intake box. We're going to take off the sensor. We're going to take off the, uh, the clamps. Uh, take off this part right here. Fucking bitches, huh? That's what she said. I recommend you guys do the install um, when you let your car sit for a little bit because <laughs> it does get hot. All right, so what we did is we unhooked the the top of the intake uh, box from these two clips. And then there was a filter right here. I took the filter out. Now next we're gonna take these two bolts off right here. Uh, one bolt, sorry, one bolt. And then after that, the only thing holding this in is like a little rubber piece. After I take it out, we'll show you guys. All right, so the next thing is after you take that bolt off, you uh, pop that bitch off. You just, you just yank it out. That's it, the stock intake. Well, Honda did, plastic. As you can see, these things are held in by rubber, by these rubber things. You just uh, pull it out, it pulls straight out. Oh. That's it. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the battery. We're gonna have to undo the positive and negative. We're gonna undo this, take that out, um, put, uh, put the wires to the side, and take out the whole, the whole tray. There's two bolts here, and then there's a, I believe there's another two bolts on the other side. Because to get to those two other bolts that are on the underside of this uh, battery bracket, we're gonna have to uh, take the wheel off on the driver's side. And luckily, he doesn't have the fender lining, but you would undo the fender lining over, uh, on this side and pull it out a little bit to reach those bolts. So the way you take off this battery tray is there's uh, a total, I believe, of five bolts. Is this one, we already took it off. This one, we already took it off. The one for the ECU. There's one on the inside right here. And then there's the last one right here. Yeah, there's one that's the other day. It makes the shifter better, no? That's what they say. This bitch has seven. Seven or six? Seven. I, I think seven bolts. Well, just count them off. There's two on top. There's two one, on the side. Two. Three, three four, five, five, six. And then the two on top. Seven, eight. Yeah. And how long did it take exactly? One hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just messed it up. <laughs> but uh, the easiest way is if you actually take off your whole fender liner, I know it's gonna be a pain in the butt, but you can get under here to take this out. This has two bolts holding it in. Um, it's this one and this one. Um, it's on the inside right here. You can see it if you, if you, when you take the fender liner, you can actually see the bolts on the inside. And then this comes out 
and then that piece over there comes out through the top. Breaking clips over here. Sorry, Nacho. Just like next. Don't record this. Next step, lower the car, and then what hands? We're gonna remove the bolt. Yeah, that's what makes it so hard to do this one. All right. The new clutch line, battery extensioner, extensioner. <laughs> Extension. Extension. <laughs> and I don't know what this is. Well, she says, can you do it? The next step is to remove the old clutch line. You, you have to loosen these two bolts here. Where's your part? And then these silver, this silver clip has to come out. You're supposed to use a line 10 wrench, I believe, but we didn't have one. We have a 10, but it, it looked like it was going to strip it. So instead, we used these little vice grips right here. And that got the job done without having to strip the bolt. Do it for the video. We need a cup, guys, so. This is step number 28. <laughs> <laughs> the step that didn't uh, come out on the on that thing. Okay. Pitch in there. I guess nothing came out. We're good. Yeah? Yeah, we're good. Nothing. All right, guys, that's how you get a shot of um, caffeine. It's real right, good. What's, what's so, it's been about, I'd say, 35 to 45 minutes, right, guys? 35 to 45 minutes. This shit is a bitch. And I'm not even doing anything. Just recording. And that shit looks like a bitch. Alright. Hey, What's up? my way, bro. Alright, I'll see you over here. And then, um, do you need anything for. Like the, the barbecue? Just meat, but uh, we'll go we'll go together to buy it so we can all like uh so it can be fresh. Yeah. So so oh. we can all pitch in. Okay. Do you need anything like before that? You want me to stop by the store? Maybe. No, we're, we're, I mean, we already got drinks. Maybe water. Uh, just can... just water. I guess like a pack of water. Maybe, but I mean we can always just grab yeah. that later. We but... can always just grab it later, but. Okay, bro. Alright, do you need any steps right now, bro? No, no, we're, we're good right now. Alright, bro. Alright, thanks. So the next step they're nice, bro. They're nice. is you have to take this bracket off of the transmission. There's two bolts that hold it on. And there's a clip right here. And then this goes here. And then this is connected to the other end. You're going to loosen this out. We also use a... a 17. Yeah, we, we use um, cha channel locks on here because we didn't have the, the line 10 wrench and we were, uh, we were the vice grips. So we took this out and then we took this off and then there's two bolts here that we took out. The new bracket is in there. You want to get a, a shot of that? It's right here. Uh, you, you reuse the bolts that came off. You uh, tighten them down to 20 pounds of, uh, of torque and then you put the plastic clip back on there. Next, what we're gonna do, <coughs> get the other line. We're gonna uh, actually connect the new line to this, to this thing over here. The Yeah, in here. And then uh, we're gonna go from there after that. I don't know if you can actually see, if you, yeah, want, to get a, if you want to get an actual good picture of it. Okay, the whole right thing. Right uh, you're gonna need to use two, two wrenches one is a 10 on this little one, and the other one is the, uh, it's this big 17 right here that we used. So now we're relocating the battery bracket, and it looks like it's gonna be dropped pretty far. This side of the line to here, and put this clip back on here. I uh, put the line in, and then the clip, and then this piece. It made it easier that way to actually tighten it. Then after that, you gotta put the the new uh, battery bracket. There's three. There's four bolts. This one, this one, this one, and the one for the ECU right here. Then you're gonna put the other end of this clutch line through the hole in the battery bracket, and then connect it back over here. Uh, you're gonna have to use uh, 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 17 and a 15 is what you have to use to uh, to tighten it. 
And then after you connect it, you're gonna wanna bleed your clutch uh, so you get the air out of the clutch line. You're gonna wanna top it off. You're gonna have to get some fluid from your local auto parts place. This video is sponsored by O'Reilly's. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're gonna watch this and be like, motherfuckers. <laughs> we leave the top open, right? Not to explain what you're doing. Pumping the clutch. Remember, remember that Fast and the Furious thing was like, when you gonna let me pump? Um, oh no, he says when you gonna let me pump. <laughs> 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 Do it. Yeah. Please. One, two, three. Hold it. Oh, let me Just think it's a Gotcha, bro. Gotcha. We're back here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, take two. Uh, PRL was kind enough to give us a new uh, radiator hose. It's in here already installed. I like it. Exactly. This plastic piece that goes right here. There's just a couple clips and uh, two Allen heads. Uh, you take off the hose. It's gonna spill coolant, so make sure you put a bucket underneath the car. Then you put it on this side. Put it on that side. You're good to go. Uh, make sure that you put this wire harness, you unhook it from the hooks and you put it underneath the hose so that the positive terminal can actually reach. And um, Be careful for when the sparks fly. <laughs> <laughs> so when you put your battery back on, uh, use the old type, uh, the J hooks from the old battery, uh, the old battery yeah, tie down. Uh, put them inside the little loops and then put this on top and then tie them down. Be careful because the J-hooks come out super easily. Uh, we had a little bit of struggle with that. And make sure that the negative is off. How long did it take to be exact? <laughs> you don't uh, want to know. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Make sure the negative is off before you try to put the positive or else sparks will fly. <laughs> like I what? said. Um, and uh, that's pretty much where we're at right now. I don't know if you want to show them a picture of, of what we got here. Don't worry about this red wire right here because he has a sound system. That's not going to be on the stock. Oh, we went for big. Big wants to smoke. Oh, okay, then let's There you go. 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 Alright, so the PRL intake comes with this piece right here. This is an adapter. Uh, this goes right here. As you can see right there, this screws in. And then the intake uh, screws on top of that with this other bolt. So you just put this in here, and then you tighten the intake on top of that. That's the All right, so the next step is gonna be to place this, uh, this rubber, I guess, adapter so that the piping can go on top right here on this side. So it'll be on the left one if you're facing towards the passenger, the passenger seat from the driver's side. Then after that, we're gonna remove this tubing right here because it's no longer needed. It goes like this. Uh, we took this end off. We took these the hose that goes from here to here off. We use the hose that's connected here and we just connected it over here. And it's good to go. Next, we're gonna put on the, uh, the filter that goes on here that's also included in the PRL kit. JDM, it's right here. That extra grain of rice helps. This is a uh, filter out all the haters right here. <laughs> <laughs> How many mech skins does it take <laughs> to put in, to in doing this oh, stuff? Right, Let's here. start That's counting. Alright, what's the next step? Everybody but you and uh, the next Oh, Antonio. What was the shop that he went with? Alright guys, so... They sent Nacho the wrong intake. It was actually the one for the RVC manifold. And obviously he doesn't have the RVC manifold, so big problem there. And so we're just gonna jimmy it back to the stock intake, sorry. And that's pretty much that. I'm sorry that we didn't give you the, the right video. So you'll be seeing the right one in a week or two. Um, and we get to say, uh, I don't like Pierre uh, Motorsports right now. That's all I have to say on that. But, or. Oh.
Mm-hmm.